Dude! Yeah! Is that the new SIG MCX Rattler? What'd you just say to me? MCX Rattler. No, no, bro. Oh, okay, reject that. No, embrace tradition. Embrace what is the perfect 300 blackout host suppressed. We're talking bolt guns. Just try it. Just okay. run it. Just try it. Mm. All right. Holy shit! Welcome back everybody, Clint today with Classic Firearms. We've got Kaya back with us. What's up guys? And we're out here at Take Aim Training and Range with a couple of silenced boys because we're here to talk about everybody's favorite round to suppress, 300 Blackout. Probably because that's the entire reason this round exists is ultimately to, well, replace the MP5, which I know is impossible to do. But at the time, 300 Blackout was ultimately looking to replace the 9mm cartridge because for one, you wanted better ballistics, better performance at even a greater range than what 9mm could reach out, but also be superior in ballistics, both suppressed and unsuppressed. And that's ultimately what we get with 300 Blackout. But specifically, something really underrated, 300 Blackout is shooting it through a bolt gun. Like what you see right here. We've got two Christensen arms, well, not suppressors, right. suppressed. I was gonna say rifles, but this is a pistol. Well, that's a pistol. This is a pistol, all right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly <laughs> right, I understand. But anyway, what I do wanna say is uh, we are not sponsored by Christensen or Q for this matter. Uh, we just happen to have the muzzle yeah, devices and, this, and yeah. the suppressors laying around and it's like, okay, let's just use these. Um, uh, they work. They work. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good way of putting it. So, all right, cool. But uh, anyway, with that being said, what we wanna do is take the time today and actually show off well, how awesome bolt guns are when it comes to suppressing uh, or being suppressed. Because one thing a silencer doesn't do is actually silence the gun. The Sergeant Major ammo that we're shooting today is actually 125 grain, so you'll notice a lighter projectile, gonna have a little bit more speed, velocity yeah. to it. And then the 200 grain slower guys, the powder's working significantly harder to try to push that projectile yeah. out the muzzle and you'll hear that difference here in just a moment but here's what's cool about bolt guns being suppressed you don't have to silence right. that because you're you're the one you're the mechanism at that point so whenever this gun goes bang after you pull the trigger it's up to you at that point to either wait and then cycle yeah. or cycle immediately depending on how you want to do it with this one i feel it's more like a blaster yeah. i feel pretty like star oh, wars vibes you know great. and i feel like after i'm done shooting this one it'll be kind of out here and then i'm just gonna run it simply like like where you can air, that. air rack it <laughs> yeah air rack it your infatuation with air racking things is <laughs> phenomenal i love it dude i got that bug bit me over here so i gotta keep trying for all the guns so I just, but anyways what do you think man the 300 blackout is it gonna replace the uh Five five six in long. Five five six? Yeah, I'm like legitimately in like CQB applications. I, I think there is an application for it, but five five six, you can't even reach I'm not gonna say you can't. But I mean five five six has been known to actually still effectively take down targets out to eight hundred yards. 300 yeah, yeah. blackout, you know, you're gonna be pretty much like just lobbing rounds that way, you True. know what I mean? Yeah, I'm thinking about CQB applications, like, cause my CQB, favorite- CQB, then yeah, it's definitely gonna be far superior. Yeah, cause yeah. my my uh, ideal home defense yeah. uh, system is Honey Badger Q, 300 blackout express. I'm just like, oh man. My that's... ideal one would be the new SIG Spear with about a, I don't know, eight and a half inch barrel the Spear LT, LT okay. if they Expressed. made that. Hmm. Or the Scar 15P with the 300 blackout barrel, because for whatever reason they made it with the 5.56. Five, all right, anyway, yeah. let's take these down range. <laughs> let's start shooting and let's do that comparison between subsonic, supersonic, and let's mm. let you guys get, a, a, honestly, we don't even need to aim at the target. Yeah, we'll hit we them a couple of times. I think we should start off engaging the steel. Yeah. So that way you, you hear it and then just, we'll go for the 100 yard berm. That's right. Just so yeah. you hear the, just the gun, Impact. just the suppressor. See if it is like the movies, because in the movies the action works too, and yet you yeah. still get. That's all you get. Don't Theoretically, it should happen with this, with these. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Actually, the first test we're gonna do is shooting them unsuppressed. Yeah. Now, since this is a seven and a half inch barrel, that's a sixteen inch barrel. In my mind, even though that this is gonna be unsuppressed, I feel like to us at least yeah. here. 
we should notice a difference in sound, an audible difference between the short barrel yeah. and the longer barrel of the Christensen bolt gun here. So let's just try it and see. This well, is gonna be obnoxious. The Q cherry yeah. bomb break is one that is, it's it's called a bomb for a reason. And uh, it's seven, what was that? Seven and a half inch? So seven and a half inch. Yeah. Concussive. Yeah. yeah, I'm not too excited about it. But uh, anyway, we might just do a, two shots of this. Do it. All right. Yep, ears are ringing. All right. Woo. That's enough of that. That is concussive. Right? Okay, now let's try it with yours. Let's see All how right. that one sounds. All right, so. I, it's, it's different. Is it different? I can, I can tell it's different. For sure, and I don't know if that's just because it's further away from us because of a 16 inch barrel. Because, you know, but it's I, a break. So yeah. the gas is all, I mean, it's the shorter barrel, man. Definitely more concussive. I'm gonna say uh, we try it with this now, and let's see if we can tell a difference. What? <laughs> and let's go for that hundred yard. <laughs> there you have it. I can definitely hear that sonic boom. Yeah, <laughs> that sonic boom. Let's just go for that still. Oh, just to the left. Yeah. Let's hear it through that. That one I'm excited for. All right, let's see it. Wow. Surprisingly very similar. Go for the 100 yard burn. What do you think? It's funny from what I could tell at least. Do it one more time. Right here. From what I could tell, and I don't know how it's picking up on camera for you guys, but from what I could tell being suppressed, doesn't sound like too much of a difference. Unsuppressed, yeah. A little bit. On Spress, I could definitely hear, obviously, yeah. uh, more concussive uh, sounds there. Oh, subsonic. Subsonic. So, uh, a couple rounds of subsonic here. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, I think I'll, I'll start with one super and then one sub, so that way you guys can kinda like hear that. So uh, let me go ahead and stack my mag that way and we'll be right back. All right, so before we start shooting this, I wanna show the difference between the supersonic ammo that we have and the subsonic ammo. If I line these up neck to neck, you'll notice that the subsonic round is actually longer. The actual projectile itself is longer than the supersonic, and that's because they were just trying to add as much weight as possible to this projectile. And now the way Kaya and I have our mags loaded is uh, they're gonna start with the supersonic round and then go with the subsonic and then another super and then another sub. So without further ado, let's go ahead and try it through the short boy here. Again, supersonic, and then we'll try it with the 16 inch gun that Kaya has. And again, I'm not going for any target here. Yeah. Not that I could hit it anyway. So we're just gonna go for the 100 yard just so we can hear the difference. Supersonic. I'm really excited for this. Moment of the truth. Subsonic. <laughs> I, think that, uh, <laughs> I, think, I think that shows quite a difference there. <clears throat> Supersonic. Now, if you guys can hear it, listen for the impact. Yeah. Cause there's definitely a delay. All right, ready? Subsonic. Dude, I'm scared that's at 100 yards. So yeah, the, dude, I'm the, the travel, it's just pop, doop, you know? All right, so try it with the 16 inch guy. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna have supersonic here first. So we go with the supersonic and now it's gonna be subsonic. Let's see if we can get that impact. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's even quieter. Is it? Yeah. You can hear it? Do it again, do it again. Oh, I'm, yeah. gonna be, I'm gonna be right here. Um, I'm curious about the comment section, if it's quiet. So this is gonna be uh, Supersonic. Yep. Okay. I'll do the sub. And Subsonic. I feel like the 16 inch might be quieter. Then again, you're the one shooting it yeah. from different perspectives. It might just be different, you know? Yeah. But at the end of the day, I mean, these... This is why Subsonic, yeah. dude, bolt guns are a lot of fun. First yeah. of all, trying to find a gun that's gonna reliably cycle subsonic 300 blackout oh yeah uh, it gets a little difficult granted there's a lot of adjustable gas systems yeah. out there and you'll notice on semi-auto rifles especially di guns that are 300 blackout the gas length the actual gas tube length is super short you're talking oh it's just that right in here a you tmg know? descent yeah the descent that we had yeah oh my god it's one of my favorites yeah very short yeah. and there's a reason for that quite simply well there's a lot more powder burn a lot quicker and you typically get full powder burn out of the 300 blackout cartridge at about nine to 10 inches. 
Now you can tell that there's definitely longer barrel guns out yeah. there and you can still tell that those pressures are being generated and built up in the barrel. So even though you're getting full power powder burn at about here, yeah. you still have this length to start getting that velocity built up and those pressures still built up and more spin also on the projectile. So again, fantastic cartridge. I thoroughly do love the 300 blackout cartridge. Yeah. I know there's others out there like Clint Smith yeah. uh, who isn't the biggest fan of 300 blackout. And that's, why, why is he not? I'm curious because I think he he finds that it's um, it's cost doesn't justify its means when you can have a nine millimeter that does just same thing with more rounds. Yeah, all you got to do is make sure you hit your target and shot placement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, true. I'm just like my whole nine millimeter thing, and Clint is obviously up here compared to me, of course. But I want that defeating body armor thing. Like that's what I'm really interested. In. Okay, well, 300 black, I ain't gonna do that either. <laughs> Depending on the plates, subson yeah. uh, supersonic, super. Nah. I want to test that. It does. I mean, black per perhaps supersonic, perhaps it? level 3A. That's what I'm saying. 3A. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, I feel like our friends over at Guard Dog would throw in on a test on that. I would love to test that, man. So subsonic, supersonic, and nine millimeter. See which one defeats. Which one is more destructive, I guess, right? I'm, I'm thinking about 300 blackout, supersonic should be able to defeat level 3A, therefore, for CQB application, a lot of bad guys are wearing body armor nowadays, would be a better application, but then again, Clint Smith, obviously, again, he's up here, I'm down here. We also have 5.7 and 50 Action Express. So. I tried 5.7 on a 3A, doesn't defeat it. Which 5.7 round did you use? Uh, the one that, five, what was that, 25, 5.7? Because I feel like we might be able to source some that might do the job. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's right, out there. Right. We'll see what's out yeah. there. But anyway, bolt guns are where it's at. Now, if you haven't seen, let's say maybe a suppressed 5.56 bolt gun or lever gun for that matter, go check out our footage from the Gundys this past year. Oh, that's right. Because they yeah. did have the suppressed. They called yeah. it the Long Ranger. And that thing is pretty freaking sweet. It's a 5.56 lever gun that's magazine yeah. fed. And I already talked to Henry. I was like, all right, look, make an extended mag. So that way, you know, they just got to figure out how you can still run yeah. the, the lever, you know what That's I mean? Right. But I'm just saying, I, I think Mossberg MVP is the way to go because they've also got, for a bolt gun, because yeah. they've got the, um, uh, I think it takes AR mags, which I think, I think, don't quote me on that, I'm pretty sure it does. But anyway, if you'd like to see testing with different calibers in a bolt configuration suppressed, let me know. Obviously, we're already thinking 762 by 39 762 NATO, yeah. 556. There's a couple that have come to mind. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, just comments. let us know what you guys think about that down in the comment section. Yeah, with that being said, I just, I have two more left, man. I can't walk back to the Oh yeah, just go ahead and finish them off. Yeah. Just, just so. <sighs> go for the target. Uh, target? Hit the target. Oh, hit the target? There we go, okay. Perfect. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. What are some of your favorite bolt, bolt guns to run and suppress? And again, what calibers do you want to see us shoot? Again, semi. I think it would be cool to do a semi-auto, a literal semi-auto versus bolt gun comparison. So you'll probably see these out on the range again. True. Absolutely. I think yeah. that'd be great. Semi-auto versus bolt. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to see that myself. So again, what calibers would you guys like to see? And we'll leave it off there, guys. And don't forget to check out what we got going on over at cfcontest.com. You may or may not like it. Either way, you should check it out. You're gonna like it. <laughs> trust me. You're gonna like. It. Trust. Trust them. Trust but, uh, Kaya, yeah. the Fed boy. I'm sorry. That's, that's not how you gain trust. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sure. <laughs> we'll leave it off there, guys. As always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. And we'll see you next time at Classic Firearms.